Greetings. Welcome to a new episode of Six Millennia and Happy Halloween. Last episode, we interviewed an ancient god who transformed from a vicious monster to a life giving being. Today's guest, however, walked the opposite path. A once beloved hero of gods and people had transformed gradually through a mix of aggressive nature, family drama, and political shifts into the very definition of evil we know today. Seth, thank you so much for allowing this interview. Yeah, sure. For the viewers who don't know you, you are commonly known as Set. Other names include Suteh, Setesh, Suteh. You are the son of Geb, god of the earth, and Nut, goddess of the sky. You have a brother, Osiris, who is the god of the dead. And you have two sisters, Isis, goddess of the sky and wife of Osiris, and Nephthys, goddess of mourning, who was also your wife. And still is. Of course. Your nephew is the famous god Horus, god of kingship and the sky, and Anubis that is... That is enough introduction. Let's start from the beginning. You were the chief god of Upper Egypt, that's the southern half of Egypt. You became the hero of the sun god Ra, protecting his boat and fending off monsters like the snake Apep. Snake? You mean worm? I skewered this pathetic maggot every single night with my spear. I almost felt sorry for this <laughs> snake. But then your story with Osiris took place. You felt jealous from him. You arranged for his murder and dismemberment. Isis collected his parts, assembled and resurrected him and conceived Horus, who sought revenge from you and ultimately dethroned you. It is the most famous Egyptian tale in history. Jealous? He betrayed me. The handsome Osiris couldn't keep his sticky green hands of my wife. Which resulted in the birth of Anubis? The point is, he's not the victim. He shouldn't have crossed me knowing that I eat monsters for dinner. But you drove her away. One of the reasons is that you had numerous affairs with goddesses, such as the goddess Neith, Amchiret, Anat, Astarte, and others. I told you, I eat monsters for dinner, and goddesses find that attractive. And then you became the god of infertility, desert, sandstorms, violence, and war. Do you have a question, or you will continue to annoy me? After you overthrew Cyrus and took his throne, how do you describe your rule of Egypt? There is nothing I detest more than weakness. Osiris was a weak leader, and his rule led to rot. I had no choice but to change that. I used storms to weed out the impure and the filth. In my rule, there is no such thing as free stuff. If you want to earn a living, you will have to bet your life on it. Mm-hmm. It is mentioned that when you became the god of infertility, Nephthys, your wife, disguised herself as Isis and had an affair with Osiris, which resulted in Anubis. Is it fair assumption that your anger and destructive tendencies were the result of your mechanical difficulties. What mechanical difficulties? Um, you were shooting blanks. What is shooting blanks? You brought an earth gun to a gunfight. You were infertile and you lashed out at the world because of that. Did you just try to be funny? Because you stink at it. 
Sorry, sorry, I assumed wrong. My bad. <sighs> okay, moving on. In modern day pop culture, which incarnation do you prefer? None. I hate them all. What about your portrayal in the recent movie Gods of Egypt? You're joking, right? I mean, what is this? He looks like a Roman general pretending to be me. And what about this one from uh, Doctor Who? Oh, good <laughs> grief. Are you done? Do you have anything you wish to say to our viewers? No. Seth, thank you so much for this interview. Yeah, whatever. Good riddance. Uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and see you next time. Thank you for watching. Um, this is a new project I am trying out. Uh, if you like the idea of this project, comment below with your thoughts and recommendations. Also, share and subscribe to the channel for future episodes. See you soon.